Hey everybody, back with another video. Um, in my last video, I kind of wrapped up this make tracks except for the control panel. Um, but I was messing with the coin door lockout coils and I thought I would do a quick video of just the coin door lockout coils. And so some people might be thinking, what is a coin door lockout coil? So hopefully uh, we can do this okay. So the game is off and, we, and I think, let's see here. Um, you can see here on the right hand side this coin door lockout coil with the bracket being nice and vertical. There's a, a little tab that is disengaged via a spring or it engages into the coin mech that prevents coins or rejects coins into the coin return. And so if the game is powered off that will be engaged and the game will not take your coins. On this side, on the right side, when you're looking at it from this way, there is no coin door lockout coil, so the coins will just go through. And if you were a customer, you would just lose your coin with the game being powered off. So my coin comes back to me because of the coin door lockout coil. And then it takes my coin on this side. So I just lost two coins and now I'm calling the, the vendor Whereas this one, I'm not. And yes, it is really just stupid to even be worried about new this. ones in the mail, not new, they're used, um, and we're gonna replace them on the make tracks on that one side, as well as do one on my Stargate. All right, so here is my Stargate, and now I'm obsessed with these damn coin door lockout coils, and you can see it has both coin door lockout coils right here they're fully engaged but I believe one of them is not working so right now if I put a coin in with the game off coin gets rejected fine All right but now let's power it on and see what happens um, when the power I have the game on and we're gonna come in and put a coin in here I turned for free play off and that coin lock is not working because it's rejecting my coin every time. And that's because the coin door co lockout coil is not working. But here, this one, oh, how come I didn't get a credit? Maybe, well, I might have another problem. <laughs> all right, let me see. But it's going all the way in, but it must not be triggering this. Or what's going on? How come I don't have... Oh. Duh. I have a, a broken thing. So I have something else to fix <laughs> on this damn thing. So not only do I not have a coin door lock co coil, but I have um, my ground cables not working. Which sucks. Alright, but anyway. You can tell that that coin door lockout coil is actually working. Because it's pulled back. You can see that right there. See how the magnet, the coil is energized, so the magnet is pulling that back. Whereas this one, there's no magnet being energized. So we know this is a bad coil. So let me take this one out and um, test it, and then uh, we'll put in a replacement coil. All right, so the best way to probably remove these, and I'm doing this all on the fly, so don't expect anything great, um, but we should remove, be able to remove our coin back here. Unlatch it. Let's see, get this out of there. There we go. And then come from, let's detach our coils. The red goes to the power side. Hopefully my hands aren't in the way. Let's see. Yeah, there's a um, Basically two screws, one there and one at the bottom. And we can come in from this side, and just remove the entire coil. Actually, you don't even have to unscrew it all the way. You, because of this brackets in the way, you might need to get like a shorter screwdriver. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I can't get at this top one real easy. Damn. 
might have to, uh, that sucks. Might have to take that off where you need a real short screwdriver to get in there to take that off. Let me pause and get this thing off of there. Right. All right, I kind of loosened that up, hopefully enough so I can get in there with a, my screwdriver. There we go. And if you just loosen it up, you should be able to get it out of there if you just loosen the screws, like back them out almost to where they're coming out, but not all the way, that makes it easier. There we go. So now I have it out. So it has its spring and everything, but it's not energizing. So let's go and take this to the bench. All right, so here is the non-working one. And I have my meter set to ohms. Now this sh these should read on working ones at 460 ohms. So I'm just going to put my clip on here. Even with the diode, it should read about 460. And you can see it says 10 million ohms. And just like in my previous video, we know that that's bad. If we go um, with a diode test, we get the normal voltage drop, which is, um, that's probably because the coil has, you know, almost infinite resistance at 10 million ohms. It's like almost like open. And it will read the same, I think, in both directions. Let's see. No, the diode is, is reading correctly. So I got these, um, these replacements. The whole actual unit was around 12 or $13. Not cheap, but it was from like Action Pinball. And if we, on our diode test, it's going to read unusual, basically. It's going to read like the diode shorted, but that's because it's already connected to the coil. But we get around 450 ohms, so we know that this one's good. And um, I'll just test. I bought a couple of them, one for my make tracks and one for... Stargate and one for a spare in case I have another one But these they don't don't make these coils anymore But I think you can get them from Marco specialties as an entire unit that might work. I don't know what voltage they're regulated to But these are you know, just like used ones. Oh crap now. I'm getting confused. I better set set it aside here if anybody knows where I can get the exact type of um, let me see if I can twist, twist this here. Um, I'll get the model number here in a second after I... Okay, here we go. If anybody knows where we could buy something similar to this, 4218 six, No, it's this way. Nope, it's that way. 4218 Okay, there we go. It's 904218. 904218 is the part number. So if anybody knows where we can get those, that would be nice. Because I have, seems like these do um, end up getting screwed up somehow. This one's the busted one. Yeah, totally jacked up. Alright, so that's my broken one. And here we go with this. Four hundred and sixty ohms. So if you're reading that, you know it's good. All right. So let's go ahead and hook up my power supply here, and we'll just test it real quick with thirty volts. You can see, I have my power supply set to around thirty volts, and we're going to hook up the red to the um, crap <laughs> um, the black to the non-banded side hopefully it'll stay there and then I'm just going to touch this on the banded side as you can see there and you can see it is operating so we know that one's good and I'll do 
Let's see, should I do all of them? I'll do, just do one more. So we know that one's good. So let's go put one of these into our Stargate. All right, so I have everything hooked up here. Let's see how that looks. Um, I'll go ahead and hopefully you can see this here. Basically, you want to, you might have to adjust this a little bit. That's why it is on, like, I don't think you can see it, but it's just on some slots. It's not like actually screwed into holes. There's like slots so you can adjust it. Because when you put this in here, you kind of have to make sure, like in this hole, that the lockout um, bar or latch or something goes into that spot there. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and centered and moves back and forth easily. It's not dragging on anything, so. So there we go, that's in there. All right, got a metal one and a plastic one. That looks good. Let me get some quarters. All right, and I also, um, put some quarters in here. I also hooked up that other, gosh, I can't talk when I'm filming, but um, I soldered basically the other coin mech on there that was broken off. So the grounds are there. So we should have both coin switches working now. So we'll do it without the power here first. Reject. Reject. Let me power start gate on. on. And now we will coin up. Nice. So both of those went all the way down the coin. Um, gosh, why can't I open this now? The, the coils are working now, so you can see that they're latched. They're pulled back with the magnetic um, coil there, so. Both coils are working, and I always had this on free play, that's why I never worried about it. But the other nice thing, beyond just actually hearing, you know, the game coin up like that, is when you actually turn them off, and I turn all the games off in the basement, you'll hear all the um, coin lock coils um, turn off simultaneously. So I'm going to turn it off with my little remote here. And you can hear the coils, you know, uncharge and then basically are pop back open. And if I turn them on, we'll just watch that, that coil right there, if you can see it. Let's see. Maybe that one. Right there. Turn it on. Snaps those right back. And let's listen to that coin noise one more time. There we go. So I just figured I'd do a quick video, hopefully this is pretty quick, on the coin lockout coils. And I'm not going to actually film me putting the one in the make tracks, but I, it's the same process. And I'll do the one in the make tracks as well. Alright guys, that's it. Have a good one. Jow, Stargate, need to swap the monitor still. Robotron, Bubbles, and I have Defender turned off and my make tracks, but you get the idea. All right, that's it. Cheers.